Alright guys, welcome back to the channel where today we're taking a look at some of the latest additions to Community Creations, with today's offering bringing with it a bunch of updated superstars that have been modded to feature new hairstyles and textures, we have new legends both from back in the day and more recent times, and then we have several new stars from NXT to help keep your roster as up to date as possible. So let's start with Legends, as we have an update to the New Age Outlaws that I featured a while back, starting with Road Dog, as Bangra Man, Wolfgang JT, Righteous and King Empire have teamed up with Watts' Status, who was able to update the creation to feature some hidden content, as Status found that Road Dog's voiceover was still hidden away within the game files and he was able to mod Road Dog to use it. Oh, you didn't know? Go but a call somebody you damn right you see it's me it's me it's a D-O double G Along with the hidden voiceover, Stace was also able to assign Road Dog the hidden DX theme, as well as some hidden DX Trons, as along with the main DX Titan Tron, which is available for selection, Stace also assigned these hidden apron and barricade Trons. Alongside Road Dog, Stace has also teamed up with the creators to update their Billy Gun, which now comes with a hidden DX theme and Trons. Staying with Legends, next up we have the latest additions to the Icons of the Ring series as Sean Styles has released two versions of Sergeant Slaughter. Taking a look at the first version, we have a classic version of Sarge that sees him in his military outfit with his black singlet and green top, while the second attire sees him in a similar outfit with a camo shirt. Switching over to the second version, this one is Sergeant Slaughter 91, which is based on the heel turn that's seen him turn his back on America and side with Iraq. In terms of attires, this one features Sarge in the military outfit he wore in WWE 2K14, while the second one features a similar attire to the first, though this one sees Sarge swap his military hat for a headdress and a green pair of boots. To go along with this version of Sarge, Sean Styles has also uploaded a new version of the Iron Sheik under his Colonel Mustafa gimmick, as during this time Sheik was paired up with Slaughter as his Colonel. Taking a look at the attires, the outfits used are the official ones, as the creation uses Sheik's DLC attire from WWE 2K15, where he was part of the Path of the Warrior DLC pack. Jumping ahead to more modern times, we have the return of Maria Canellis, as L2K Games has released this classic version of Maria that comes with two attires, the first one being this black outfit with blonde hair, while the second one sees an earlier version of Maria in this red outfit with dark hair. Staying with the ladies, Antronexi has created a great version of Caitlyn, who's someone that you don't tend to see made very often, so if you're looking to fill out your women's roster, then Caitlyn makes for a great addition. In terms of attires, this one is actually her second outfit, which is based on a time in WWE, though switching over to the main attire, we also have a modern Caitlyn that sees her updated to include her new tattoos. Taking a short break from Legends, let's take a look at some of the new updated superstars, where we're starting out with a new version of Elliot Knight, as Pechi has teamed up with Korsushio and Abdi Kenobi to bring us this 2023 version of Knight featuring an updated attire, face texture and facial hair. Also included, we have the yellow outfit that he wore for the pitch black match at the Royal Rumble, with this one included as a secondary attire. Another star receiving an update is The Rock, as Pechi's released an updated Rock that's based on his current appearance, with this one featuring a new beard, as well as his new arm tattoo. Hey guys, unsurprisingly so, social media right now is buzzing. No, well, because he represents millions and millions, literally. More than 415 million followers on social media. They smell it all right. Indeed, the great one. For those that prefer a clean shaven rock, the second attire sees him without the beard, with this one also featuring a slightly different set of trunks. For those looking for an updated carrying cross, we have this version from creator Mr. Tadio, as they've released an updated cross that features an updated hairstyle, as this one's been modded to include a new face texture that sees strands of hair applied to the face, which then helps to create more of a longer, messier hairstyle. To go along with Cross, we also have a new playable version of Scarlet, though rather than update her model, this one is a completely custom one that comes as part of a collaboration between What's the Status, Persia Stan, WWE 2K Gears and L2K Games. 
Taking a look at these comparison shots, hands down, I think the custom version is far better than Scarlett's original model, as I feel it captures her much better than the original does, plus this custom version also comes with a choice of two different hairstyles, as the second tyre features this alternate option. As this is a custom version of Scarlet, it's also playable, unlike the original, plus it's also been modded to include Scarlet's ring name and commentary, as well as her hidden trons. Moving on, and next up we have two brand new stars from NXT, starting with newcomer Izzy Dame from Absolution Cause, as they were quick to get Izzy uploaded following her TV debut on Level Up. Joining Izzy, we also have another NXT newcomer in the form of Kalani Jordan, who's another superstar that only recently made her debut in NXT, with this one coming via creator Antronexi. So if you're looking to build out your NXT roster, then there's two new talents that you can download. Before we move on to the next set of superstars, let's talk arenas, as Mark Yem has just released a bunch of new modded arenas, with a standout being WCW's Club La Vela, which sees the ring floating in the middle of the pool. Even if you're not familiar with WCW shows at Club La Vela, you'll probably recognise this arena due to its similarity to the Southpaw Arena in WWE 2K20, as this is the arena that the DLC was based on. Along with this arena, Marty's also teamed up with arena creator Jenna to offer up a host of AEW arenas, all of which come with fully working trons. Also available are several hard cam arenas that see the stage placed behind the ring, as Marty was able to remove part of the crowd and then place the stage there, giving us a smaller arena with the stage in the background. The cool thing about these arenas is that the stage trons all work as they should, so once you get past the beginning of the entrance, the ringside portion will take place with a stage in the background. Once the match begins, due to the placement of the stage, then you'll be able to see it in the background, which helps to recreate the view seen in the older Smackdown games, though you will need to update the arena to include some of the missing logos, as some of the trons will reset to yellow. Getting back to superstars, we have two really good creations from Ikea Carl, with the first of these seeing the return of Samoa Joe, as Carl's released a modern Joe that sees him with this long beard. The incredible accomplishments, the storied feats of strength, the pure talent of this individual is just astonishing. Wait, did they write that down for you to read on air? Like, it sounds exactly like what I heard them saying in the mirror backstage. Taking a look at the second attire, also included is more of a classic Joe, which sees him in green and black, with this one featuring Joe with a shaven head and a thinner beard. Also from IKEA Call, we have a new version of CM Punk, as Carl's released this new version based on Punk's return to AEW. A man who always gets a strong reaction from the WWE Universe, and it will only intensify once the bell rings. In terms of attires, Punk comes with two outfits. The first one sees him in black and pink trunks with his Larry shirt, while the second attire sees him come out with his black hoodie, with the ring attire seeing him in the trunks he wore against Samoa Joe in the Own Heart Tournament. So that's the latest roundup of new uploads on community creations. Let me know what you made of today's featured creations in the comments and stay tuned to the channel for more. Until next time though, thank you so much for watching. Have yourself an awesome day and I'll catch you later.